New at five, if you drive in our area, there is no doubt you've come across one of these, a pothole. It costs drivers across the country billions in repairs every year. We're tracking down the worst of the worst and seeing that they get repaired, helping you save time and money on the road. Chief Transportation Correspondent Hawker Van Gard is live from a pothole we brought you last week. And Hawker, how long did this one take to repair? Uh, well, only a couple days to get crews out here and then a couple hours from there to actually fill this cavern in. It was gigantic. If you remember last week, you could fit a couple of smart cars is what I said um, in this former pothole. Now let's see how long it holds up. And the crews who I spoke with said this is straight up hot mix asphalt and it's going to be sticking around for a while. Point being, though, if you don't watch out for these, it could carve out a piece of your vehicle and your pocketbook. Hitting a pothole is something even the pros can't avoid. Yeah, yeah, I've had my own fair share, so yeah. <laughs> Christopher Roman is a technician at DL Automotive. He says vehicles that hit the worst of the worst have been through his bay. Oh, it can be very expensive. It can, it can go as, as up, up to $3,000. In the wheel well, components that hold the rim to the body are most at risk when you hit a so pothole at high speed, according to Christopher. And if worst case scenario, if you do hit a pothole, what would bend would be the control arm here, and sometimes the shock will bend. Christopher says the best thing you can do is take it slow. The best bet is to slow down. You reduce the impact. And CDOT has the same message for drivers. Slow it down but they also want you to know that help is on the way now that warmer weather is here. It's kind of like a mix of gravel and some other material, but um, and, and during the winter months, it may not, like I said, cure as well as, as hot mix would, and that's why we have to kind of readdress over and over. And then in the grander scheme of things, the goal is to uh, get that section of roadway resurfaced. So, Hawker, going back to the pothole, you're standing at that very big one right now. What kind of repairs did you see take place there? So I kind of walked alongside the road crews as they were doing it. It was really interesting to see. It wasn't just them dumping asphalt into the hole. It was kind of a multi-step process. They had to prime the area. We actually took some video if you want to take a look. We primed the area. They then did pour in the hot mix just shovel by shovel. It was a very manual process. And then eventually they brought out a leveling device, which got the new patch level with the existing roadway. But like I said, it's an actual asphalt patch, not a coal patch, which is what we would have seen during the winter months when it was really, really cold. But here's the deal. This one isn't the last one. And what we brought you at uh, four o'clock, that ain't the last one either. We want to hear from you. Show us the worst of the worst. Send the pictures to news tips at fox46.com or reach out to me on social media. It's Hawker Vanguard Reports on Facebook. We hope to hear from you and we can tackle some more potholes together, guys. For now, Hawker, I'm Hawker Vanguard, Fox 46. I was going to say, as you just showed us, it obviously doesn't <laughs> take too long to patch yeah. it back up and it's saving a lot no. of people money there. So if you see them, let us know, Absolutely. right? Absolutely.